Good afternoon. My name is Rafael Espinal. I'm the chair of the Consumer Affairs Committee. Today, the committee will be holding a vote on proposed intro bill number 1652A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to repealing the city's cabaret licensing law, but retaining several security measures that would requ be required in certain nightlife establishments. Today's vote on the intro 1652A represents a continuation of this committee's efforts to improve the regulation of the nightlife industry. Many of us can agree that the city's cabaret law is outdated and unresponsive to the ever-changing trends in the industry. From its inception in 1926, the cabaret law has been used to target particular establishments and has been enforced unevenly, at times in a manner that was prejudiced. It is time we right this historical wrong and remove New York City's inappropriate, arbitrarily enforced dancing license. On August 24th, we passed intro bill number 1688, a local law to amend the New York City Charter in relation to establishing an office of nightlife and a nightlife advisory board. In 1688, intro 1688 represents an important first step towards reform. I hope that with the establishment of the office of nightlife and a nightlife advisory board, we can begin the task of updating many more of our laws and regulations in order to restore and enhance the city's nighttime economy. We want to think progressively about the new ideas to plan our city so that nightlife goers, artists, local residents, and government can all communicate and live in harmony. By repealing the cabaret license, we are moving towards decriminalizing dancing in New York City. No longer will businesses need a license to allow dancing, and they will not have to live in fear of the cabaret law being arbitrarily used against them. We acknowledge that this issue goes beyond the license and that reforms to zoning laws are also necessary, but I am confident that the changes we are implementing today are a move in the right direction. I look forward to working with the administration and the Nightlife Advisory Board to ensure that these next steps are taken. Proposed intro 1652A repeals the licensing requirements under the cabaret law, but establishments previously required to obtain a cabaret license will still need to be required to install and maintain security cameras, and if they employ security guards, to ensure such security guards are licensed pursuant to state law and to maintain a roster of such security guards. The repeal also does not affect laws requiring compliance with other safety measures, including fire, building, and electrical safety codes. Current questions about the viability of the city's nightlife are hampering New York City's cultural reputation and has erased a lot of our city's history by closing beloved venues, especially during the Giuliani administration. If the city does not take steps to repeal or significantly modernize the cabaret laws, we risk crippling New York City's cultural and artistic development and overburdening these businesses with unnecessary red tape. I am proud to champion this historic bill which will right an almost century, uh, which will right an almost century old wrong and take this progressive action to support culture in our city. Before I call the row, I really want to give a big thank you to all of the advocates that have uh, been part of this large effort. Uh, most notably, New York City Artists Coalition, uh, the Dance Liberation Network, the Dance Parade, and many, many more who have joined uh, uh, us in, in the groundswell movement and grassroots support of this repeal. I also want to thank my committee staff who has had to deal with me for the past few months in making this happen. Thank you, Balkis. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you, Rachel Cordero. Thank you, Rob Newman. Uh, with that said, uh, I recommend a yes vote. Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Consumer Affairs, introduction 1652A, Chair Espinal. I vote aye. Kozlowitz. I vote aye. Lansman. Aye. By vote of three in the affirmative, zero, excuse me. Council Member Gentili. I vote aye. By vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you all. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to voting this out of the stated meeting tomorrow at 1.30. With that said, this meeting is adjourned.